Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. So today we will start a tutorial with an example. Imagine a world where every 39 seconds a cyber attack occurs, affecting businesses, governments, and individuals alike. And in a digital age where data is the new gold, cybersecurity has become one of the most critical fields to master. And if you have ever wondered how hackers breach system or how companies protect themselves against these threats, you are in the right place. In this video, we are going to take you on a journey into the fascinating world of cybersecurity. We will break down the steps you need to learn cybersecurity from building a strong foundation in networking and programming to mastering advanced techniques like ethical hacking and threat analysis. We will also share some of the best resources and certifications that can propel your career forward. And this video will provide you with a clear roadmap for you. So get ready to unlock the secrets of cybersecurity and start your journey towards becoming a digital defender. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And before commencing guys, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's post-scheduled program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and pinned comment. So let's get started. So let's start with the session. So here, first we'll start with the essential skills for an ethical hacker or when you will learn cybersecurity, what skills you will need. So here we'll see the list. And the number one is strong understanding of networking. So ethical hackers or cybersecurity professionals need to have understanding of networking protocols, how data travels across networks and the vulnerabilities associated with different network configurations. Then comes programming and scripting. So proficiency in programming languages like Python, C, C++ and scripting languages is crucial for writing custom exploits and tools. And then comes cybersecurity fundamentals. A solid grasp of basic cybersecurity concepts including threats, vulnerabilities, risk management and security principles is fundamental. And then comes operating system. Familiarity with various operating systems including Windows, Linux and Unix is essential for understanding their vulnerabilities and security configurations. And then comes web application security. So knowledge of web technologies, that is web application vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting and security best practices for web development. And then comes penetration testing tools. So the proficiency in tools like Metasploit, Nmap, Wireshark, Burpsuit and other penetration testing tools used to assess system vulnerabilities. So these tools you should have hands on. And these are the skills that a cybersecurity professional must possess. And then comes cryptography. So understanding of encryption, decryption, cryptographic algorithms and their role in securing data. And then comes wireless security. Expertise in wireless network security, including Wi-Fi encryption protocols and vulnerabilities. And then comes security compliance and standards. Knowledge of security standards and compliance regulations such as PCI DSS, HIPAA and GDPR. And then comes incident response. So being prepared to handle security incidents and breaches effectively, including forensics and analysis. And then comes social engineering awareness. So understanding of social engineering tactics used by attackers to manipulate individuals into revealing confidential information. And then we have the last, that is ethical mindset as a skill. So an ethical hacker or a cybersecurity professional must adhere to a strong code of ethics and prioritize responsible disclosure when vulnerabilities are there. And now we'll start with how to learn cybersecurity and we'll see the roadmap. So the number one thing you should have is educational foundation. So ethical hacking is all about using your skills for good. That is helping to protect systems and data from cyber threats. And let's start from the very beginning and build a strong foundation together. Number one is basic education. So first things first, you need to finish high school and during high school, try to focus on subjects like mathematics, computer science and IT. And these subjects are essential because they teach you how computers work and how to think logically. Imagine you are building a house and math and computer science are like the bricks and mortar. You will need to construct a strong sturdy structure. And then comes higher education. So after high school, consider pursuing a degree in computer science, information technology or cyber security. Now you might be wondering, do I really need a degree? Well, a degree can definitely help. It gives you a solid foundation and is often preferred by employers. 
However, it's not the way to become an ethical hacker. And if you're passionate and committed, you can learn the necessary skills on your own. And many successful hackers or cybersecurity professionals have taken this self-taught route. And remember, it's not just about the degree. It's about the skills and knowledge you gain along the way. And employers are looking for people who can solve problems and think creatively, whether they have a degree or not. Now that you have covered the educational basics, let's move on to the exciting part that is developing the essential technical skills you will need. And this is where you will start to build your hacker toolkit with essential skills and ready to gear up with some serious learning. So let's dive in. And here you'll see developing essential skills. Number one is programming. And if I tell you why it's important. So programming is like learning a new language, but for communicating with computers. So why it's important. And now we'll see what to learn. So start with Python because it's beginner friendly and powerful. Then pick up C and C++ for understanding low level operations and JavaScript for web based hacking. And then we'll see how to practice. So write small scripts, automate tasks, and eventually build your own hacking tools. And after that comes networking. So let's see why it's important. So networks are like the roads connecting all computers. And understanding networking is crucial because it's where most hacking happens. And but to learn for this, so learn about IP addresses, subnets, protocols like TCP IP and how data travels across networks and how to practice. So, so set up your own network lab at home using virtual machines and experiment with different networking setups. Now coming to operating systems with the essential skills only. And the first thing we'll see is why it's important. So most hacking tools are designed for specific operating systems, especially Linux, and then comes what to learn. So get comfortable with Linux, that is distros like Kali Linux that are designed for security tasks and understand the basics of Windows and Mac OS. And then comes how to practice. So use Linux as your main OS and play around with terminal commands and understand file system structures. And then we have security concepts. And we'll see the first thing that is why it's important. So security concepts are like the rules of the game. Knowing them helps you understand how to break and fix things. And then we have what to learn. So focus on encryption, that is how data is protected, firewalls, how to defend networks, VPNs, how to secure connections and IDS, how to detect intrusions. And let's see how to practice them. So implement these security measures in your own systems and try to bypass them to see how they work. So these are the core skills that form the backbone of an ethical hacker's knowledge or a cyber security professional knowledge. And it's not just about learning them, but practicing and applying them in the real world scenarios. Great. You have built a solid educational foundation if you are following this and developed essential skills. Now let's talk about certifications and certifications are like badges of honor that show you have got the knowledge and skills to be an ethical hacker and they can open doors to job opportunities and validate your expertise. So now we'll talk about some of the key certifications that you can consider. So number one is CEH that is certified ethical hacker and talking about why it's important. So the CEH is one of the most recognized certifications in the ethical hacking world. It covers the fundamentals of ethical hacking and teaches you the mindset and tools hackers use. And now we'll see what it demonstrates. So by earning this certification, you show that you understand the core principles of ethical hacking, including how to scan, test and hack systems and how to get it or achieve it. So you can study the CH curriculum, which includes topics like footprinting, scanning, enumeration and system hacking. Then pass the CH exams to get certified. Now coming to the next certification that is CompTIA Security Plus. And first we'll see why it's important. So Security Plus is a great starting point for a career in cybersecurity. It covers a wide range of security topics from network security to risk management. And if I tell you what it demonstrates, so this certification proves you have the foundational knowledge required for any cybersecurity role. And it's often a stepping stone to more advanced certifications and how to get it. So prepare by studying the CompTIA Security Plus material focusing on key areas like threats, attacks, vulnerabilities and security architecture. You can pass the Security Plus exam to earn your certification. Now coming to the next certification that is OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional. First thing we'll note about it is why it's important. So OSCP is known for its hands-on practical approach and it's highly respected in the industry because it requires you to actually perform hacking techniques in a controlled environment. And if I tell you what it demonstrates, so earning the OSCP shows you, you can identify, exploit and document vulnerabilities in various systems. And it's proof of your practical hacking skills. And if I tell you how to get it, so you can complete the offensive security penetration testing with Kali Linux course, and then pass the rigorous OSCP exam, which involves a 24 hour hacking challenge. So this is all about OSCP. 
Now moving to the next certification that is CISSP. So first thing is why it's important. So CISSP is an advanced certification aimed to those looking to move into higher level security roles like management or architecture. And if I tell you what it demonstrates, it shows you how to have a deep understanding of cybersecurity principles and you can design, implement and manage a best in class cybersecurity program. And how to get it? You can study the eight domains of the CISSP that is common body of knowledge, which includes security and risk management, asset security and security engineering. You can pass the CISSP exam and meet the work experience requirements to get certified. And these certifications not only validate your knowledge, but also make you stand out in the job market. They are a testament to your dedication and expertise in the field of ethical hacking. So next, we will explore how to gain practical experience and this is where you will put your knowledge to the test and hone your skills in real world scenarios. So ready to dive into some hands on action. So let's move on. So the next part is number four, that is gain practical experience. So I will say that's awesome that you have got your education develop essential skills and earn some certifications. Now we are coming to this part. That is, now it's time to get hands-on and gain practical experience. This is where the real fun begins, applying what you have learned in real-world scenarios. Number one is labs and simulations. So labs and simulations provide a safe environment to practice hacking skills without the risk of breaking any laws. They allow you to experiment and learn from your mistakes. So you could use the platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and CyberSec Labs that are fantastic resources. And these resources offer a variety of challenges and scenarios that mimic real world systems and networks. So internships and entry level positions provide real world experience and a chance to apply your skills in a professional setting. They also help you build a network of industry contacts. You can seek out internships or jobs in IT, network administration or cybersecurity. So these roles will give you hands on experience with the systems and technologies you will be protecting as an ethical hacker. You can check job boards, company websites, and LinkedIn for openings. And don't be afraid to reach out to companies directly to inquire about internship opportunities. You can tailor your resume to highlight your skills and certifications and be prepared to discuss your hands-on experience from labs and simulations. And after that comes the bug bounty programs. So bug bounty programs are an essential or excellent way to test your skills in the real world scenario. Companies offer these programs to identify security vulnerabilities in their systems and they reward you for finding and reporting these issues. So platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd connect ethical hackers with companies offering bug bounties. And these platforms provide a legal and structured way to test your skills. And you can create profiles on HackerOne and BugCrowd. And you can start by reading through the rules and scope of each program to understand what's allowed. And you can begin with lower risk programs and gradually move to more complex ones. As you find and report vulnerabilities, you will gain recognition and potentially earn money for your findings. And after that, we have practical experience that is invaluable and is where theory meets reality. And by practicing in labs, gaining real world experience through internships and participating in bug bounty programs, you will hone your skills and build a strong portfolio. And after that comes stay updated. So cybersecurity is a rapidly evolving field and staying updated is crucial for maintaining your edge. And here's how you can keep your knowledge fresh. Number one is continuous learning. So the landscape of cybersecurity is always changing with new threats and technologies. And you can keep up with the latest news, blogs and forums and great resources like Krebs on security, dark reading and the Reddit NetSec community. So make it a habit to read articles and participate in discussions regularly. And you can also subscribe to newsletters and follow key influencers in the cybersecurity space. And then we have conferences and workshops. So these events are excellent for networking and learning about the latest trends and techniques and key conferences like DEFCON, Black Hat and RSA conference are must attend events for ethical hackers. And you can attend these events either in person or virtually and you can take advantage of workshops, seminars and networking opportunities to connect with other professionals. And then we have online courses. Continuous education helps you keep your skills sharp and up to date. And platforms like Coursera, Udemy and CyberReady offers a wide range of courses on various cybersecurity topics. And you can enroll in courses that cover new tools, techniques and concepts. And I have already mentioned a course with simply none that is proven and technically guaranteed. So you can regularly update your skills and knowledge through these platforms. Now coming to sixth point that is join the community. So being part of the cybersecurity community is invaluable for your career growth. And here's how you can get involved. Number one is networking. So networking with other professionals can provide valuable insights, support and job opportunities. And the professional organizations like the Information Systems Security Association, ISSA and the EC Council are great places to start. 
you can attend meetings join discussion groups and participate in events and building a strong network can open doors to new opportunities and collaborations and then we have mentorship so a mentor can guide you share resources and help you navigate your career path you can look for experienced ethical hackers who are willing to mentor you you can reach out through professional networks conferences or online communities and having a mentor can provide you with personalized advice and support and now we'll see the companies hiring ethical hackers so there are many companies across various industries those are looking for skilled ethical hackers and some prominent employers include tech giants like amazon accenture google apple intel microsoft and facebook and cyber security firms like fireeye palo alto networks and crowdstrike they are consulting firms and then we have deloitte pwc and kpmg and then we have financial institutions like jp morgan chase and bank of america and we have also telecommunication companies like verizon and at&t healthcare organizations like united health group and government agencies like the nsa and fbi so job roles for ethical hackers and those penetration testers conduct simulated attacks to find vulnerabilities then we have cyber security analyst they monitor and analyze security systems then we have security consultant they advise organizations on best security practices then we have security engineer they develop and maintain security systems and then we have incident responder so investigating and responding to security breaches are their role and then we have the average salaries for these so salaries for ethical hackers vary by location and experience so if i talk to you about in india so entry level positions typically earn between 4 lakhs and 6 lakhs per year while senior roles can command between 15 lakhs and 25 lakhs per year and in the united states entry level salaries range from 70000 dollars to 90000 dollars per year but with senior positions earning can be vary between 130000 dollars to 170000 dollars per year and with that guys we have come to the end of this session if you like this video please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section below till then stay safe and keep learning staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting-edge domains including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.